Hey, what's up everyone, Sohail here. So recently I've been trying to work from locations other than my home office just to get out of the house more and get a change of environment. Constantly working from home can really take a toll on your mental health and can leave you feeling stagnant, in need of inspiration or just some social connection. So in this video, I'm going to show you my new work from anywhere setup, which features using an iPad as a second screen through Apple's sidecar. I'll walk you through why I chose these products, how it improves my workflow, and of course, how much it all costs. At the center of my setup, I have the 2023 M2 Pro 14 inch MacBook Pro. This computer is incredibly powerful and has amazing battery life, which makes it perfect for working on the go. Most of my work is coding and video editing, and this computer handles just about any task that I throw at it. I chose to go with the 14 inch rather than the 16 inch because for the same price, you get a little bit more performance and it's also lighter and easier to carry around. At the time, the M2 Pro was the middle tier model. And even though I went with the 16 gigabytes of unified memory, given my specific workflow, I've never really felt like I've required more. I do carry around the power adapter if I decide to work for an extended period of time, but I've rarely ever had to plug it in. At the end of the day, I usually come home and plug my laptop into my desk setup, which charges it for the next day. The case I use for my MacBook Pro is the Nexa 4-in-1 laptop sleeve with wireless charging by Journey. Not only is this a very high quality laptop sleeve, but it also doubles as a desk pad or a mouse pad. I can also use it to charge my iPhone or my AirPods wirelessly, which is a really unique feature for a laptop sleeve. It's particularly useful for working on the go as I use my iPhone as a hotspot. So it's really handy to have its battery always topped up. I can simply plug in the wireless charger to my MacBook using a USB-C cable. Since it's wireless, I don't have to worry about any cables or unplugging my iPhone if I need to pick up a call or check my phone. The mouse I'm using is the MX Master 3S, which I bought as part of the Logitech MX Keys S combo set from Amazon. At some stage, I'll do another video on the Logitech MX Keys S combo set, so stay tuned for that. When I'm on the go, I just carry around the mouse as the MacBook Pro's keyboard is already more than enough. The build quality and comfortable ergonomics of this mouse really does set it apart from say a standard wireless mouse or an Apple Magic Mouse. Unlike a lot of other options, the click is virtually silent and soft, which adds to that high quality feel. The mouse is also charged via USB-C, so if I ever run low on battery, I can simply plug it into my MacBook and not worry about having to carry a dedicated cable just to charge my mouse. Lastly, I've got the 2024 iPad Air 13 inch model. I primarily use it as a second monitor when I'm on the go using Apple Sidecar, which seamlessly extends my MacBook's screen. It's incredibly useful for multitasking and any workflows which require more screen real estate. For example, if you need to keep a reference document open or you're using Excel or any editing softwares. The larger 13 inch display makes a huge difference, offering plenty of space for productivity while still being lightweight and portable. Sidecar is effortless to set up wirelessly. However, for my setup, I do plug it in using a USB-C cable as I find it to be slightly more stable and it also charges my iPad at the same time. The iPad's touch capabilities adds an extra layer of interactivity, allowing you to do things like mark up documents or sketch your ideas using the Apple Pencil. Overall, this setup strikes a good balance between portability and productivity. So how much does it all cost? The MacBook Pro, which is the centerpiece of this setup, comes in at 2000 US dollars. The iPad Air 13 inch, including the Apple Pencil Pro, comes in at 930 US dollars. The MX Master 3S, if purchased on its own, is 65 US dollars. Finally, the Nexa 4-in-1 laptop sleeve comes in at 85 US dollars. So in total, the full cost of my work from anywhere setup is 3,300 US dollars. I feel like that's pretty reasonable, also given that I use the same devices such as my MacBook for my desk setup, and my iPad for other various non-work related tasks around the house. I hope this video gave you some inspiration to create your own work from anywhere setup. Whether you're working from a cafe, a co-working space, or even a park, having the right tools can make all the difference in ensuring that you stay productive and comfortable. 
Let me know in the comments below what your go-to gear is for your work from anywhere setup, or if you have any questions about the setup that I shared with you today. And don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to this channel if you enjoyed this video. There's plenty more to come. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.